The transverse of Dominus plane block, also known as the tap block, by Gada al Salehdar and Arnold Navarro. The tap block is a regional anesthesia technique that provides somatic analgesia to the anterior lateral abdominal wall. Local anesthetics is injected into the neurofascial plane between the transverse abdominus muscle, the TAM, and the internal oblique muscle, the IOM, known as the transverse abdominus plane, the TAP, hence the name TAP block. It is a unilateral peripheral nerve block that can be done bilaterally. This depends upon the surgical procedure. Examples include a laparoscopic surgical procedure or those with a midline incision. The TAP block is a component of multimodal analgesia. It can decrease opioid consumption and subsequently their associated side effects, ultimately leading to improved patient outcomes, patient satisfaction, decreasing length of stay, and overall enhancing recovery after surgery. Typically, two tactile pops are felt when performing the block. When performing a tap block, the first pop is felt when going through the fascia between the external oblique muscle, the EOM, and the IOM. The second pop is felt when going through the fascia between the IOM and the TAM, which at this point allows the local anesthetic to be deposited within the tap. There are different approaches for the tap block, and small modifications in needle insertion sites can result in clinically significant differences in abdominal analgesia. Indications. The block relies on the injection of local anesthetic within the tap in order to block the anterior rami, T7 to L1, which innervate the anterior lateral abdominal wall. The tap block is indicated for a number of general, gynecologic, and urologic abdominal procedures. Some examples are listed. Contraindications. Patient refusal, infection at the site of injection, and allergies to local anesthetics. This is a list of equipment needed to perform a tap block. The tap block can be performed after induction of anesthesia or in the post-operative setting. We will be demonstrating the ultrasound-guided lateral tap block. First, place the patient in the supine position. Next, position your ultrasound on the opposite side of the site of the block. Then, perform a timeout confirming a valid consent, allergies, correct patient, and correct side. Next, use this aseptic skin preparation, don sterile gloves, prepare your sterile field, place a sterile ultrasound cover in gel, prime the needle and tubing with a syringe of local anesthetic. Next, check the orientation of the ultrasound. Ensure that the right side of the probe is the right side of the ultrasound screen. Then, place the ultrasound probe on the mid-axillary line, parallel and superior to the iliac crest. Identify the sonoanatomy. Subcutaneous tissue, EOM, IOM, which is usually the thickest layer, and the TAM. Below the TAM is the peritoneum, and you may note bowel peristalsis. Advance the needle using an in-plane view in order to maintain constant visualization of your needle and the tip of the needle. Traverse the layers until the needle is within the fascial plane inferior to the IOM and superficial to the TAM. Perform an aspiration test to prevent inadvertent vascular or peritoneal penetration. The test should be negative for blood and air. Inject local anesthetic slowly within the transverse abdominus plane. It will appear hypoechoic. Note the hydrodesection of the local anesthetic as it separates the muscle layers. Perform the aspiration test every 5 milliliters or each time the needle is moved. Remove the needle after the appropriate dose of local anesthetic is deposited.